So, Arcon has been uh, in this market for a very long time now. We've been here present for more than the last 12 to 15 years. And we essentially used to deal in only privilege identity management, which means all your administrators accessing any infrastructure devices, whether it be firewalls, switches, routers, databases, web URLs. But essentially, Arcon as an organization is now moving towards identity. So along with our privilege access management suite, we also have an identity management suite, SSO solution, we are also doing a lot of behavioral analytics around EPM endpoint privilege management solutions and we also have a security configuration manager. So we are trying to actually address all concerns related to identity and access and along help, help the organizations to manage their assets better by becoming uh, giving behavioral analytics, AI, ML, things like that. So, you know, essentially we leverage a lot of AI, ML because I think that is the demand of the market today. And our, our own slogan or our own punchline says that we want to be predictive and not detective. To do that, we need to move towards, you know, artificial intelligence, machine learning, be able to interpret the data. And I think that is very important in today's day and age. And that is where we are moving. But other than that, we are monitoring uh, all traffic across the network that is going to your data centers. We are doing a video recording, monitoring. We are GDPR compliant. We are also compliant to a lot of different other standards that are present in the uh, market. And hence, I think this is one solution suite or the solution suite that you offer is actually best place for any big organization or small medium scale organization to be able to you know meet these compliances or help the administrators do better so we're able to uh, you know uh, reduce all of this because we're able to monitor any access or any any access that is being taken to these target device we also have a gras that is a remote global access solution which helps outside vendors to come in and ensure that they're only accessing their own uh, you know the access that has been defined to them so with the advent of this work from home in the covid culture just in time privileges the attacks surface or the attack vector has increased but we are trying to leverage all technologies like AI, ML or different kinds of network monitoring, traffic, whatever to be able to control this access vector and still provide op operational ease because as a lot of times as we increase security the operational aspect goes down so while the CISO wants everything to be very secure the operation team might not agree to it because they will be facing a lot of restriction in accessing or doing whatever they want and hence the operations goes down. So we are trying to build a solution where we feel that, you know, operations is also a very important part. If your solution is very restrictive or only focused around security, your administrators will not be able to access, actually work and, you know, get things done. So we are able to try, we are able to provide a balance between both of these. And hence, I think that is where we stand out from the others in the market. So generally, if somebody approaches us, we get on a quick discovery call with them. We try to understand their environment, their network, their exact requirements so that, you know, any demo or any solution that we're pitching to them, any consulting then that we do is tailored to what they want or actually they need. So once we get all that information, we are able to align our pre-sales team, go do a demo if required. We also do a POC to be just to be sure that, you know, the customer is very sure of what he wants and what we're delivering. And then finally, we move on to anything. So while we are doing behavioral analytics for a long time, we are also now moving towards a lot of data analytics. I think that is where the market is going and that, that is something which is very important. So we are trying and moving around data anal analytics. Data governance is something that we have recently started exploring. And we have also come up with a new module in our EPM solution called the data intellect, which we are growing within time. But essentially that is I think where we are going.